Yes, my fans, this is your boy Bunny again, and I come to have a little talk with you, my fans out there. I also want to share a few of my testimony with you, you my fans, because God been good to me. When I say that God is good, God is wonderful, good to me. So as I share my testimony to you, I want you to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If it's your first time on this channel, leave a comment and hit that notification bell and subscribe. You don't miss anything that goes up. So as I go into my life, I want to share a few testimonies with you. I have five testimony that I want to share with you and I just want each and every one who watching this channel to know that God is real, God is love, God is kind, God is wonderful and God is great. God have done some great things for me and I believe that when God does something great for you, you need to share it. That had us realize and understand the love of God. So I believe in Jesus. I believe in God. I believe of his goodness. I believe of his mercy. I believe of his love. I believe of his kindness. I believe of his goodness. Because God been good to me. God been merciful to me. I have could have passed away in five different occasions that I know personally that I have been close, close, close to death. But here I am today, sitting down, sharing the experience that I have. Oh God save my life on five different occasions. And I just want to simply, simply say the first one, I was only 10 years old when I dropped into a precipice in Jamaica in the night. I think I shared a little bit of that before. And God bring me out. I could have died and gone at the age of 10 years old. I was a young boy, probably not specific at 10, but I was a young boy. And God bring me through that. I also break into a man shop with my friend. I shared that before. We had a man attack me with a machete inside to trap me up. And God helped me to escape. Listen to me. God, take me out without a scratch in the night in this man's shop. I never deserve it. I never do anything to deserve it. But God help me to overcome. Because God knows that there's a time going to come like this where I'm going to come to share this with somebody who probably go through the same thing. Hallelujah to God. You bring me through. My third testimony. In Jamaica, I was driving a van when somebody hit me in the back and turned over the pickup. It flicked onto the side, it slide, and it flicked again onto the roof. My mom died out of that. Here I am testifying and telling you that God is still good to me. God still loving, kind to me. It was a left and drive pickup. I was driving at the time. My window was down. When the pickup dropped onto the side and started to slide, my shoulder was scraping onto the paving. When the pickup flicked again onto the roof, I could have probably flicked out through the window because the window was open. But God keep me in the vehicle. The wind scream fly out. 
the roof come down and touch the seat headrest but here I am today telling you how great God is to me God is great to me I have appendix bursts inside of me it's not many people appendix bursts inside of them and then live to tell the tears I am here today telling you that God is wonderful God is loving God is kind God is great God is merciful so if you're watching this channel and you know that God do something great for you let someone know tell someone share your testimony wherever you is and in this lockdown that we in I never have an intention to build a YouTube channel but I build a YouTube channel I never know what I was going to use it for but I use it to glorify God to let other people know what God have done for me so to every person who is watching this channel I want you to leave a comments because God is good and I know God is good to you God is great to me and I know he's great to you you have testimony that you can share to let other people know so leave your comments subscribe to the channel share the channel let other people know about it when I built this channel I was using this channel for all different different things I start off doing driving video on it cooking video but I realized that this channel is not for driving video so I want to use my channel more to glorify God so what I've done I build I create another channel called drive bunny UK so if you love my driving video that I do go over to drive bunny UK and subscribe to that channel that is where all the driving video go because this channel is to glorify God. God have given me this channel to give him thanks. And to let other people know about the goodness of Jesus. So follow me on this channel. And hear more about what God is doing for me. And where God intends to take me. I was a Dane in church at an evangelist. And if this is where God wants me to work. I will continue to glorify God. I will continue to praise God on this channel. So, in this lockdown period, on the 18th of January, I could have died. Four o'clock in the morning, when I get up to go to the toilet, where I get a blackout. And if it wasn't for my partner, with our quick thinking, because God used her to use this smelling sauce to rub my head and my nose that survived me. And when I called the ambulance, they thought I was having an heart attack. They drove past the Luton and Dunsop Hospital and take me to here, Field Hospital, because they thought I was having a heart attack. And when I get to the hospital and then do all they have to do, they realize that it wasn't a heart attack. I have a blood clot in my lungs. A blood clot in my lungs. I could have passed out. But Jesus is saying, I don't ready for you yet. I don't finish with you yet. There still works for you to do. So I am giving God the glory. I am giving God the praise. I am giving God the honor. Because I don't believe I'm a preacher. I don't see myself going into church and preaching, preaching, preaching. I believe that God have me to minister to last soul. So here I am. Here I am. Speaking to someone, somewhere, someplace. Telling them about the goodness of Jesus and what he has done for me. 
my soul cried out today hallelujah jesus thank you for saving me through this five situation thank you to bring me to this point today where i can sit in front of this social media to tell others what god have done for me my sisters my brother don't be afraid god can do the same for you all you need to do is to believe and trust in jesus there is things that you have been through in your life and you just think you just come through it god is the one who bring you through you might be not believe it but god is the one who bring you through and i want to tell you today believe in jesus trust in jesus have faith in jesus and whatever your situation is put it to jesus go down on your knees and cries out jesus said if you ask anything in my name and believe by faith that shall i do he said ask and believe and then receive you have to ask but ask by faith because faith is believe faith is believe and faith is like a grain of mustard seed so if your faith is just as small as a grain of mustard seed and your heart's in the name of Jesus, then you shall receive, but you have to believe. I tell you, I was going through sickness. I was going through sickness with a back pain. I used to work in London on an estate. And I went to work one Sunday morning. And I was moving the bin underneath the stairs, full of rubbish, and the bin buck and something, and it was capsizing. And I tried to catch that bin. And all I could hear is crook in the center of my back. That put me down for three years I could work. I was registered this year for six years. I was on two stick. And I've been praying and praying to God. And I said, God, when are you going to heal me from this? God said to me, I will heal you in time. God also said to me, he's going to anoint me to lay hands on the sick and the sick will be healed and delivered and set free. And I'm saying to God, God, how are you? gonna anoint me that high lay and sick and sick deliver and come free and i'm going through sickness myself jesus said to me i will heal you in time remember for 10 years i've been suffering with back pain 10 years but my sisters and brother god is telling me that he will heal me in time. That I will lay on the sick and the sick will be healed and delivered. And let me tell you something. I believe God. I trust God. I trust God. And I've been healed. I've been delivered. I've been set free. That back pain. We're talking about 12. It's nearly 15 years now. I've been healed. 15 years, my back pain have gone. I've no longer registered the saber. I no longer walk and stick. Because Jesus delivered me. Jesus set me free from my back pain. So my duty now is to come and let you know how great and wonderful God is. Whatever your situation is, I have no fear. I have no doubt. But believe that whatever your situation is, God will see you true. Trust Jesus. Believe in Jesus. Call upon him. 
as he said, ask, believe, receive. Jesus is the way, he is the truth, and he is the light. So, God is saying to you today, trust in me, believe in me, ask and receive. So my sisters and brother, humbly I come before you. And I said, Jesus said to tell you, don't give up. Don't give up. Just believe and receive. You might be going through sickness right now. And you might be worrying. But Jesus said, trust me. Trust me. Believe in me. And I will deliver you from your situation. Believe. So as I come to you, humbly, wherever you are, I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But, if you want me to pray for you individual, all I have asked you to do is just leave a comments. And all you have to say, pray for me. You don't have to leave your name. All I want you to do is just put into the comments, God know who you are. And I am praying for you in each part time I go down on my knee. But for me to reach out to you directly, leave your comments. And by leave a comments and said, pray for me. I will go down on my knees specially for you. Whatever your condition, whatever your situation is, I will go down on my knee directly for your healing, for your deliverance, for your breakthrough. Because God tell me, he anoint me, that I will lay hand on the sick. I will lay hand on the top of the phone. And that you is receiving it. I will lay hand on myself and you receive it. But you have to believe it. Hallelujah, glory be to God. I come this morning. Not because I make a decision to come. But God is directing me to reach out to you and you and you who are watching and listening with the sound of my voice. It's not my voice you are hearing. God is speaking to you. God is speaking to you. Receive a word. Receive a blessing. Receive a miracle. Receive a deliverance. Because same way God deliver me from my aches and my pain. Same way God deliver me from. Hallelujah Jesus. Same way God deliver me. From 10 years of back pain. God can deliver you. It don't matter what it is. Cancer. Arthritis. Diabetes. Whatever the situation. Whatever the complaint is. God is able to deliver you. Gunman, you probably going right now to go take somebody's life. But you happen to buck up into this video. It's not by mistake you're watching this video. God is telling you, put down the gun. Knife man, machete man. You probably going to break into somebody's house. But God is saying, this man did break into the man's shop. The man attacked him with a machete, but he escaped. The reason why he escaped, because God wants to tell you, give up. Give up. I am calling you to repentance. Glory be to God. I am not here by mistake. I am here because God has ordained me to minister 
to someone, somewhere, some place today. Through the sound of my voice. And as you take the time to watch this video, receive a blessing, receive a breakthrough, receive an anointing from God. To God be the glory. Great things he have done. My sister, my brother, under the sound of my voice, and the listening ears of you, may you receive a blessing from God. May you accept the Lord in your life as your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And as you listen, if you believe, just type Amen. Just type Amen. Because God is speaking to you. Whatever your situation is, God is willing and able to deliver you. God is willing and able to set you free. Glory be to God. Father Jesus, I just want to say thank you. I just want to say thank you, Lord, for this moment. Thank you for this minute. Thank you for this hour. That you allow me to speak to your children. And I pray God that every hears that hear will receive. Every heart will be blessed. And someone will accept you as their Lord and Savior Jesus Christ today. God, I thank you again for what you have done. I thank you for what you are about to do, Jesus. And I pray in the name of Jesus. That you will continue to use me in this way to minister to someone somewhere, someplace. In Jesus' name. To God be the glory. Great things you have done in Jesus' name. And as I said, if it's the first time on this channel, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And also hit that notification bell and you don't miss any video that goes up in Jesus' name. Remember, if you need prayer, special prayer, and you want me to pray for you, all you need to do is just type in the comments, pray for me. You don't need to leave your name. Just put pray for me. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. In Jesus' name.